Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick video on Epstein Barr. There's a lot of theories that say uh, chronic fatigue is due to chronic mono. Now, when I first was tested, when I was like, hey, I'm really tired, uh, what's going on? They tested me for Lyme and mono, and they said, oh, you had a past mono. And I said, when did I have mono? I don't remember having mono. I thought mono was something you would remember having because you'd be really tired. Um, so yeah, I they said that I had mono. I did not have Lyme. That was the first test I got for Lyme when I was 16. So um, I wanted to share with you the results that they gave me in 2009, which was five years ago. 2009? Yes. Um, so they did do another test for me for mono, but this guy was kind of an asshole, this doctor, and um, basically he just gave me a psyche eval, which was like, how do you feel about your daily life? And I was like, I googled you, and it said you were a chronic fatigue specialist, and you kind of suck at life right now. So um, he was not helpful whatsoever, he was a douchebag. So, but I went through the old blood work, and I found out what he tested me for. Bam. All right, hopefully you can read this. Epstein-Barr virus, blah, 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 blah. So we got IgA, IgG, just kidding, IgM, the early antigen, and nuclear antigen, I guess that is. And I was abnormal for three of these. The only one I wasn't abnormal for is IgM. Now he wrote on here, old. I'm the one that highlighted this. This to me was very important. I didn't look it up, though, until today, <laughs> so uh, it's partially my fault, but, um, yeah, he wrote old, and, you know, he told me, you know, go take some uh, antidepressants or something. He was not very helpful, but he did do this panel of Epstein-Barr for me, so um, I just looked it up today, and I have a snapshot from a website I found that says, this could be an active mono. This could be active mono. Now, granted, this was, oh, God, I, I can't do the math on that. But it was over 10 years since I got sick. So this was still showing up for me. This is, like, abnormally high. You see this is 160. It's supposed to be less than 110. I'm sorry, less than 10. Um, this is 40, it's supposed to be less than 10. This is 80, it's supposed to be less than 5. I'm reading this correctly backwards. So, if you go through your blood work, see if you've been tested for this crap. And I'll show you the website that says this could be active mono. It's just some random, like, lab testonline.org. Actually, I think that's the website. Um, I'll post it. But I thought that was pretty important, and Dr. Lerner, the doctor I'm going to check out again in Michigan, he he believes it's active virus in your system. And I, he has a patented version of this test. I don't know which, I don't know if it's just one of these, or if it's um, a different test altogether to check for the active virus. But it's pretty interesting stuff, and I definitely recommend getting tested by him because he seems to have this all figured out and this guy you know he wrote old test old uh, active virus but according to the lab test online.org he could have been incorrect um, so yeah just sharing that piece of information with you um, also I tested I have high parvo virus IgG and there's a bunch of other crap Oh, um, herpes virus 6, I had high IgG on that bad boy too. Again, all of this crap I don't remember getting tested, I don't remember having. Um, also my strep was ridiculously high. He never mentioned anything about this. I just assumed it was no big deal, but that's pretty freaking high. So, it's possible I had strep at the time that I went in. Again, I don't remember being sicker than usual when I went to this doctor. It's just like a regular day for me. 
So, um, hmm, do not recommend this guy, but, um, yeah, that's all I got.